Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Volcano AC and in this episode I'll be comparing the real Marshall DSL20 amplifier against a plug-in. I will be using Amplitude 5 but in particular I will choose to use the Marshall JCM slash edition virtual amplifier. The goal of this video is to see if you all can distinguish which is the real amp and which one is the virtual amp on a very very rough mix. It's not gonna be a final mix, it's not gonna be anything super special, it's just on a very rough mix to see if you can notice when it changes from the real amp to the virtual amp. Let me explain you a little bit of the signal flow. The signal flow will go as follows. I will be using my Fender Player Stratocaster guitar and it will be connected here with the purple cable to my RC3 Boss Looper. Because this looper has a stereo output, in the output A I will have, as you can see here with the yellow cable, the direct connection to the real amplifier and in the output B I will have the red connection that goes straight to my Presonus Studio 24C audio interface. Everything will be recorded on Studio 1.5. In addition, let me explain the settings of the real Marshall Basically, I will have everything at noon, just to make it simple. Except our volumes and classic gains. You can see that the yellow cable comes straight to our Marshall amp. The Marshall DSL20 will be connected to the Marshall cabinet with two 7080s speakers. The cabinet will be mic'd with the Shure SM57 microphone and it's gonna go to our audio interface. And that way we will be able to record both tracks at the same time. Now let me explain you the setup on the virtual amp. All right, so as you can see, we have here a very, very rough mix with my drums here. And also I recorded all my keyboards and uh, the bass as well. So we're gonna be uh, recording on the A, the plugin, the yellow, and here the green, it will be the track for the real Marshall amplifier. Let me bring the Marshall amp over here like I said this Marshall is the JCM slash which I know is not the same as the DSL20 however look I'm gonna put all the knobs at noon except for the volumes so that we can have more or less similar settings I have other amps that emulate Marshalls but uh, we're gonna keep this one for today's video as a mic, I'm going to be using the Dynamic 57, which should emulate my legendary Shure SM57. And I'm going to use some British speakers to emulate the 7080 speakers of my real cabinet. And you can see the secondary microphone is muted. And uh, with that, we should be able to start our recording. Let's go. I'm gonna be playing something very simple in the lead channel of the amp and I'm gonna make sure that the lead channel on the virtual amp is also on. I'll be playing D major, A major, B minor and G major. Just a very simple chord progression of 1, 5, 6 and 4. All right, let's start the recording. Let's go.
All right, and it is time for the grand reveal. The first rough mix was done with the plugin that was A here in yellow, and the second rough mix was using the real Marshall amplifier that was B in the color green. You can see the difference between recording straight to the interface gives me more dynamics than when I am using a real amp, a real cab, and the legendary Shure SM57 microphone. Remember that I recorded these tracks simultaneously using my RC Boss Looper, the RC3. Okay, so now I'm going to be soloing the plugin and then I'm going to be soloing the real Marshall. Let's see how it sounds. Alright, now I would like to see if we can actually um, adjust a little bit the plugin, making sound more realistic to the real amp. Listen the bite of the real amp. It's biting very well. Let me take a little look here. Okay, wanna... Now that we got it, we have it over here. Let's go. Real amp. See, a little more presence. Nope. Go back a little bit in the middle to the treble, just a little bit more. Can you see how granular it is. Distortion is pretty heavy on the real amp. Alright, so let me know in the comments below if you were able to notice a difference between the virtual amp and the real amplifier. And again, I completely know that the JCM slash was not modeled after the launch box. Dual Super Lead 20, uh, Marshall amplifier, however, we just want to go for the tones, really, which at the end is what matters on a song, on a mix, in music. All right, so if uh, you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button, and if you would like more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.